be ready to fight if a guy tried to talk to my mama when I was with her in my 20s. It was, I was crazy. I was crazy. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I'm back with somebody else's hair. And guess what? It is another get ready with me. Why did my voice go low like that? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well because I'm doing great. As you can see, look at this. We got ourselves a new wig and a new face. Girl, we're coming through with a new identity. Somebody give me a new thumbprint. For today's get ready with me, we're gonna do something. We're gonna do a different sort of wig. I've never applied a wig like this before. This wig is a wig that mimics natural hair, needs no customization and minimal styling. Girl, I ain't do nothing to the hairline really, just a little lay down, you know what I'm saying? Just what you do to your natural edges. This is a super simple wig for beginners, especially if you're a beginner that loves wigs that looks more like natural hair. And that's one of these wigs here. Y'all watch out, Rachel Dolezal may buy all of them. I wanna say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this video. And I wanna give y'all like a close up of this hairline. Like look at this. That is crazy, it's giving root realness that is insane now with the face girl i don't know what i was doing with the makeup and we did a little just chat and story time this one was a crazy story time about a stalker but <laughs> we'll get into that later so if you want to see everything i did to apply this very very easy simple wig application and how what i did to get this look please keep on watching and i'll be back to do the face okay y'all we're gonna start with the omg her hair box your wig is gonna come in the omg her hair box and of course you receive your gifts the wig cap the baby hair brush the elastic band a thank you card all of that stuff but the biggest gift is the wig i mean you bought it but it's the wig look how gorgeous this wig is this wig is the yaki course wig it has a fitted glueless cap. It is a HD lace wig. The length is 16 inches, 150% density, and it's in the natural color. The great thing about this wig is that it has this beautiful, natural baby hair hairline. You don't have to do much to it. Now, the hair is really, really short in the front. So what I decided to do was to take some mousse and lay it down. I used the mousse called uh, Mousse Def. I think it's called Ledoux. Or the do, I think I just made it fancier than it needs to be. But the do, and it is amazing. I brushed back the hairline just to flatten it, and I used a rapid strip to lay down the hair and to mold it down. I also decided that I needed to do a little bit of trimmation on the situation. Y'all know I'm team too much when it comes to trimming hair, but I decided to do a little bit this time. I just did a little bit of layers in the front, and that's it. I didn't do too much. Now, as for curling the hair, I decided to do the satin rope curlers. I used the Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Mousse to do the curls on this wig. Now, I added too much mousse. I definitely added too much mousse. A little bit goes a long way, but adding mousse does help for yakky and kinky hair to curl. So I did take the hair and I just wrapped it around the satin rollers. And how I wrap it is you take a piece, wrap it around, bring it around the front, then take another piece and you wrap it all the way down. That's how you get the best, most perfectest curls. Yes, that's a word in this situation. Now for this side, I did the same thing and I did it in a front section and a back section to get more fluffy curls because that's what I wanted. So I decided to wrap the hair all the way around down to the bottom. And then I take a hair tie once I get all the way down to the bottom and I um, secure the ends. Now, once we got to the back side, we did the same thing. You split the hair in half, add the mousse, add too much mousse, use less mousse than I did, and just wrap it all the way down to the bottom. When I added too much mousse, it, um, the residue was on the hair as well. I also could have just used water. Don't know why I didn't do that. Smarter to do that, but I wanted to be fancy. The hair smelled good though, so <laughs> we got something out of it. Now, um, I'm gonna do the other side as well. We're just gonna wrap it all the way around. Also, I got these um, curlers from Amazon, so I'll leave a link for those down below. It didn't come with the hair ties. I had to get bring the hair ties myself. So this is what it looks like when it's complete. I did this the night before filming the application of this wig, so I just allowed that to sit overnight, and once I revealed this hairline, look at her, baby. Look at this hairline, girl. Y'all see 
how beautiful and natural that hairline looks. Now, let's go ahead and work on applying the wig. I'm just gonna use a wig grip, no wig cap, no nothing. This is a wig grip with the little lace thing, and now I need to tint the lace. I'm gonna use the Kellen Derrick lace tint, and I'm gonna apply it to the brush, and then apply it to the lace, and then blow dry it dry with a diffuser, because I didn't want to disturb the baby hairs in the front. So, after doing that, of course, we're going to go ahead and apply the wig. I had to take a deep breath, girl, I'm talking too fast. <laughs> We had to go ahead and apply the wig, but before we do that, I need to go ahead and cut off the lace. Now, cutting off the lace is really, really simple on this wig. Sometimes I have an issue with straighter hair because the hair is getting in the way, but this one, no ma'am, baby. It's one and done. Just cut it off. Now that that is complete, all we have to do is actually apply the wig. It's super, super easy and quick. I'm just going to take the wig dealer touch-up gel and apply it to the hairline. The reason why I chose the gel instead of the spray, I used a little bit of spray, but you see why I made a mistake on the spray. I'm using the gel because it's easier to apply. It gets sticky and it's not watery. Watery messes up lace tint, especially on a wig like this when the hair is shorter on the front. So I decided like, okay, I'll just use the wig dealer gel, but it dried a little bit. So I decided to use my even spray. Big mistake, you'll see. Look at the side of that wig, baby. The lace tint looks like Kool-Aid on my forehead. I don't know what, I did way too much. I don't know what's going on, but I did way too much. Um, but I was able to lay down the wig, <laughs> fine. I just, the lace tint is everywhere. I also decided that I wanted to like read, lay down the hairline since it was disturbed with drying um, the lace tint on there. So I'm just deciding to lay down that hairline using some got to be glued gel. And I'm just gonna mold it down. I'm also gonna take a rapid strip just to reinforce enforce the moldation on the situation. So you just tie that around your head and let that stay. And I'm also gonna use an elastic band to make sure I'm molding the hairline and melting the hairline and molding the hairline. I think I just said that. I'm molding the hairline, girl. Next, we're gonna deal with our hair. I want to see what these curls look like because girl, I was a little bit afraid because it took forever to dry this hair. I actually had to use um, a, a hooded dryer to get it dry um, after leaving it overnight because I used too much mousse, but baby, it was worth it. Look at these curls. They're absolutely beautiful. The only thing is that the ends were a little bit dry. So I decided to trim those off a little bit just so we can get bouncier curls. When the ends are dry and you have curls and they stick together, it just don't look bouncy. So I just had to do like a half of inch, half an inch of trimming on the ends. So I trimmed the ends off and then I did the other side as well. I just had to take the roller out, not the other side, but the back. Taking the roller out and as you can see, these curls, I was so excited because I didn't know what they were going to turn out like, but baby, they are gorgeous, stunning. Now, let's see what this hairline is giving, especially after I made that mistake. Let's go ahead and take the rapid strip off. And it got a little stuck on that one side. Girl, that one side is a mess. The other side is cute. The other side is perfect. But baby, the one side, what's that? My right, your left, or your left, my right? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> That's not the mess, but we need to go ahead and define our part. We're going to use the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in Walnut Skin, and I'm just going to go ahead and define the part. The Walnut Skin is close to my skin tone, so um, I use that in the part section, and I use NC50. It's a little bit lighter to see if I could lighten up that lace. I actually made it kind of worse because now it looks like a highlighter on the side of my head. Girl, I don't, I was struggling with it, but still. Look at that hairline. You can't tell me this doesn't look like it grew out of my scalp. Now, as for the ends, I decided that I needed to just trim it a little bit just so I can get those bouncy curls once again. And look at how beautiful this wig looks. I'm fooling the girls. So if you're interested in this wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. I also have a coupon code for this wig down below. The parting space on this wig is beautiful. The hairline is beautiful. The curls are beautiful. The texture is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and get into the face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this face. I don't know why I'm so peppy. Girl, cause this stomach is giving it to me. Hold on, let me pop this open. Press on nails to let you open nothing. We're gonna go ahead and pop on a headband. Y'all know I like to show the hairline that I worked so hard on. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Let me pull this hair back. It's giving very much natural hairline. I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Eight Hour Spray. Ooh. I'm gonna try and do a powder foundation one more again. We'll see if it worked, but see the girls. How do you use this? So for foundation, I'm gonna try this. If this is a mess, then um, I'm not gonna know what to do, but we're gonna try this anyway. This is a multi-use complexion powder, but I'm going to use like a damp sponge to apply it. I'm in the color Chai, but we're just gonna smooth it onto the face. I really do like how this is spreading for now. We'll see how it looks once I'm done. But oh, so far so good. Oh, look at me cold. Huh. But anyways, I hope y'all are doing well. I'm just trying to get through the stomach issues. As far as work, everything is great. As far as my mans, everything is great. Y'all, I give y'all updates every week as if my life changes week by week. And it does not. But I'm trying to make a concerted effort to re-engage with my friends. Cause girl, I've been, wow, this is orange baby, but it looks good, but this is orange. How did it look to, okay, now the color is not my color, but what's new, girl, I never have the right skin tone, but the skin, baby, it's skinny. It looks really good. Let me go ahead and put on some concealer. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Concealer. I am in love with this concealer. It's good concealer, baby. It's really, really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on. Or should I use just a tint? Now I wanna use this. Now I'm gonna apply that. Oh yeah, this is the right color. Really pretty. Apply that right to the face. As far as, uh, Actual work is going, which is social media is now my full-time job and I have been doing it. It will be a year anniversary of me doing it full-time. October 20, 29th was my last day in corporate. As for that, it's been going very well. I've been trying to just really get a schedule down. And I'm, I picked this up like it was club soda, like it was Schweppes. I was about to put my whole mouth on this and that is not something y'all need to see. Y'all don't need to see me put this down my throat because I can't. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and take, did I tell y'all what color this was? I'm all over, y'all charge it to my tummy. Okay, cause my stomach is going through. Okay. I'm telling y'all be going through, my stomach is going through it. Once again, I'm gonna add some MAC Pro Long Wear. Did I tell y'all what this was? Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Concealer in the color Almond. Somebody help me. Let me go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer. Ugh, man. Oh, I love how creamy it is. But this stuff stays. Oh my God, so good. And it brightens up the eyes. I just, oh, I love it. So, so I, that's what I was talking about. Social media is, is great. I'm loving the job. I'm loving everything about it. I feel like I talk about the same stuff every single week. If I do, please let me know down below and say, girl, get a new subject. But um, did y'all say anything in my last video? Because I asked y'all something for me to talk about. Hold on, let me look. Okay, I'm going to blend this part down here. I'm going to blend around the mouth because I like to get rid of those smile lines. Now, I use the MAC concealer in MAC. MAC be trying it, so... It kind of gets so sticky that it breaks down and it doesn't move. So I gotta be careful. Let's see, look. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and set and forget. I'm gonna set and forget with my Laura Mercier powder. Girl, can't nothing compete with her. She's the baddest on the block, you hear me? What's recent is we may be thinking about moving, but girl, we out here looking at these prices. Who is paying for that? Atlanta used to be, oh girl, this thing is still wet. Atlanta used to be super affordable. Like back in the day, um, when I say back in the day, me and my sister lived on Peachtree Street. Um, it was at a, it was at an apartment, girl. It was like, oh, I got some story times from in there. When I first moved out from college, we lived there twice. Um, 
It was what, $700 a month? It was a one bedroom. Girl, we stayed in a one bedroom. Just <laughs> cause we, well my sister wanted to be in town. I wanted to be out of town cause it was so expensive. Oh God, it was terrible. But we had a, um, me and my sister had a stalker there. <laughs> And the stalker, I'll tell y'all a little story time. I'll tell y'all a little story time because living in the city, so many things happened down there. At this time I was, how old was I? I had to be like 20. I'm gonna powder the whole nose just so I can get the oil out. Is this powder on powder? It is, I probably shouldn't do that. Whatever girl. Hopefully I don't get to crack a lacking around here. Uh, we lived on the seventh floor, which was the last floor that you could live on before you got like the high rise prices. So that was the highest floor we could stay on. We stayed on the seventh floor. And when I would leave the apartment, it was like a hotel. So it, would, it, it was like this. It was like that. It was like a hotel. You could take the stairwell down or you can take the elevators. Of course we took the elevators because it was seven floors down. Ain't nobody doing it. So we would take the elevators and uh, one day I left my apartment and I looked down the hallway, a guy came out of the hallway. Like came out of the a door. And I was like, that looks like the stairwell. But I was like, okay. So I'm just walking down the hallway. I noticed that the guy was intentionally staying behind me. I was walking kind of slow because I didn't want him. I don't like people behind me. So once I left the apartment, I locked the door and I saw he was next to me. And when I walked down the hallway towards the elevators, which is to the right, he walked down towards the elevators. Oh girl, my face feel like it's getting dry. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done it. I think I want to add some blush though, a cream blush. Is that going to make sense? It probably won't but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna add a little blush. I'm gonna use the Wonder Stick. You already know, I use her all the time. And I'm gonna use the color, the NYX Wonder Stick in the color Deep Peach. It just adds such a great color to the face. When I was walking down the hallway, I noticed that he was staying behind me and I was walking slow on purpose so he would get in front of me. Cause baby, I don't know what you're doing back there. I get to the elevator, he's still standing behind me. Like there's a lot of space, he didn't stand beside me, he stood behind me. I was like, okay, that's weird. He was wearing sweatpants. When I turned around, I saw him doing something in his pantaloons. Before the elevator came up, because it would take a long time, I said I had three options. First option, don't get on the elevator, go back to your apartment. Not a good choice, because I was the only person in that hallway at that time, me and him. Second option, go on the stairwell. Not a good option, because that's where he had came from. Girl, he was living in the stairwell, so I don't know what was going on from there. Plus, in the stairwell, there's no nothing. So I was like, okay, last option, get on the elevator, stay in the corner, and you'll be down to the bottom floor soon. And if anything, they have a camera in there, so, you know, worst case scenario, this creepy person playing games in his sweatpants won't, you know, do anything. I just had to do the math. So I'm doing the math and I said, okay, I'm gonna get on this elevator. I stayed in one corner. He sat in the other corner and I looked over. He was doing ungodly, the ungodly, terrible things right there in his pants. <laughs> it's funny now it was, you know, I was young. I'm going to use the the lip bar um, contour palette. This is the Boss Moose palette. And I'm just gonna use the color Making Bets to do my bronze contour or whatever you wanna call it. I don't remember being terrified. I was a much more, because I went to school at Georgia State, I walked around downtown, I had a little bit, I was less scary. I was more like, okay, I was always in protection mode. I'm in the elevator, I look and he's in the corner standing under the camera because the camera was in the corner of the elevator. I'm standing in one corner, he's standing in the other. So like we're diagonal from each other. I look over and he's in his pants. Doing what? Disgusting, terrible things. So, so we're almost down to the first floor. We get down to the first floor. There is like a concierge there, but I don't think he was sitting at his desk. Plus this guy was right behind me. I was on the phone. I think I was, I was gonna get on the phone with my uh, a person I was dating at the time. So I was like, okay, let me call them. Um, I stayed in the lobby. Like we had a, like a seating area. You know how lobbies have seating areas. There was a seating area in the lobby. And I sat down there, called the person I was dating at the time. That person didn't live in town. So 
I called that person and I was just on the phone with them and there were two couches and this person that was on the elevator sat across from me. I sat there and I had to make sure there were people walking up to him, get, jabbing him up, like saying like, hey, what's up, bro? Like they knew him in the building. I had never seen him before, but it was a really, really big, tall building. So there may be people that you don't see, plus in the middle of town. So anybody could be in the building. So I stayed calm and I sat there for about 15, oh, I can't remember, it felt like forever. But I was on the phone, I stayed calm, and I tried to make sure that's what he was doing because I still was in like a little bit of denial. He just stared right at me and it was at that point, girl, I I hollered, I screamed, yelled at the top of my lungs, said what he was doing, pointed at him. I don't know what happened to my phone at that point. I don't know if I threw it, hung it up, but I was hollering. Yeah, I was yelling, I was yelling, hollering. And the concierge, I think he was back at this time. I think he called 911, the police came, picked him up. Turned out, okay, this is a long story. Turned out he, he didn't live there. He didn't live there at all, but he was a squatter, so they couldn't kick him out because he lived there with a friend. He wasn't technically a resident. He lived there with a friend. The friend let him live there. He was down the hall from us. So this man would stay in the stairwells and I guess wait for women to come out the reason why I know this is because the same thing happened with my sister. She told me about it later because I described what happened. And she was like, oh my God, I didn't know that's what he was doing. She was like, yeah, that happened to me too. That was him. And I was like, oh my God, this person was just, it was just he was just great. I say all that to say, living in town, it was cheap and it was, it was fun and it was cute. But girl, you just got to be careful when you got affordable rent. <laughs> Anyways, the makeup is looking good, but it's real crackalacky right now let me not frown i was saying all that to say girl, rent is high <laughs> uh, anyways let me go ahead and do my brows this is the this is the micro brow pencil uh with nyx in the color black oh i forgot to uh, powder my brows y'all know i love to powder my brows i need to use the laura mercier powder when we're looking for new places in town um like safety is number one. If you want like to find like a safe, you know, nice, secure, quiet place that's in a good location that's like close to what's happening. Like I don't want to be in the middle of, you know, suburgatory. <laughs> it's like, it, it's really, really expensive. Like really expensive. Atlanta used to just be so, Cheap. I remember people used to say that like, oh my God, it's so cheap to live in Atlanta and you still get the Atlanta experience. Not anymore, girl. It's way too expensive. It's a mess, honey. A mess it is. Okay, I'm just filling in this brow. I feel like that's a little bit close in. It's starting to look real evil. Ooh. I keep leaning to the side. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me go ahead and brush these through and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some do light eyeshadow because I really don't need no eyeshadow right now but I'll do light eyeshadow baby I was about to brush this with no spoolie okay so okay so for the eyeshadow I'm going to use the Too Faced light my fire eyeshadow I'm loving this eyeshadow it's supposed to smell like supposed to smell like cinnamon and they don't it never do I guess we can do this little orange no I do this little reddish down here this little red thing down here. Y'all know I like that reddish, easy breezy color. But back then, like in my early 20s, I was like much more um, aggressive. <laughs> I was always ready for something to pop off. Cause you live in town, with me living in town and going to Georgia State, um, was always prepared to fight, even though I can't fight. <laughs> Now it's giving very much soft life over here, girl. I don't, <laughs> no, I'm not fighting nobody, what? I never wanted to fight women, ever. But men, girl, I was ready to windmill. I had, girl, <laughs> I'd be ready to fight if a guy tried to talk to my mama when I was with her in my 20s. It was, I was crazy. I was crazy. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara, and I'm just gonna add that to the lower lash line to match the upper lash line, because I have on, um, false lashes so 
Just gonna go ahead and add that. Hopefully this face melts down because it's giving very much powdered donut. The cinnamon kind. If you plan on coming here or living in Atlanta, girl, stack your coins up because you can find a nice place. You just have to be careful, girl. This lace is lacing, my bad. I need to just cover this up because I'm trying to show up and show out and I need to quit. <laughs> That's what I need to do. It's the end of the tutorial at this point, so I need to relax. Anyways, yeah, so let's go ahead and do the lips. Y'all let me know if it's the same way in your city. If you lived here in Atlanta back in the day, I feel like we all were like, whoo, rent. Thank God it's not like New York or the girls in Cali. We right up there with the girls out there. It's crazy. If what, bro? Ain't no beef. We ain't got no beach, we ain't got no sand. I mean, we got Lake Lanier, but who wants to go there? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my NYX Line Loud um, lip pencil and I'm just gonna... The way this city is going, they are trying to push the people out, girl. So expensive. And this is a, did I say it's in the color Rebel Kind? I don't know if I've been telling y'all what I've been doing, but I'll leave all this stuff down below. I'm, I've been terrible today. I told y'all my stomach hurt, so it needs to be that dark. I'm also going to use, this is becoming my favorite lip combo for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie Matte Lipstick in the color Cabaret Show. I need to get my brain together. I'm just going to. Mm, put that over top. Look how pretty that is. And let me go ahead and get um, my earrings and stuff because I feel like the look is never done without earrings. <sighs> I gotta dry this lipstick. Anyways, oh, I should have sprayed my face down first before I did that. Ooh, okay, let me spray it. I'm hoping this not be wetting the whole face. It's gonna settle it in the skin because my, my face looks crispity crunchity no life inside oh real house piles of beverly hills comes on i think today is it the reunion today it's today okay so i feel like it's melting down let's fluff out the hair oh 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 yes it's giving very much root realness we love a root realness moment and the root realness moves through the hair. I know that's right. Am I looking a fool y'all? I don't know. Like with this makeup, <laughs> this is the finished look with the hair fully. Actually I need to, the hair curled and fluffed and ready to go. This is the face. Actually let's get close with the face. Not in love with the makeup look I did. Can't lie to y'all, can't lie. Love the hair, don't really love the makeup. That's what I need, I need a little bit of lip gloss. That's my problem. I was walking out ashy. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss in Pink Punch. And girl, I gotta brace myself for the burn of my life. It's worth it. Like this stuff really be having my mouth watering. I don't know why my mouth is watering now. I haven't started burning yet. Okay, wait. It's about to start burning. Give me a second. Let me put on my Nine East watch from the Amazon. Y'all know this is the only watch I wear. I need to get some jewelry. Like, I'm really playing around. I just was on Amazon today. I found a new Amazon wig. Ah, I'm so, I'm excited. Y'all y'all about to get into it. Oh, so much better. I just needed a gloss. That's why I was looking so ashy. Work it out. Mm. Also, this is the hairline. This is my favorite side, right here. But this is the hairline, this is what it's giving. Very much natural, no baby hairs. Girl, you plop her on and you go. Y'all tell me what you think about this wig and this makeup down below. Did you enjoy the story time? Because I was not sure if I was gonna tell that one because it was it's just weird to me. But, you know, hopefully you liked it. Um, Y'all let me know what else you wanna talk about. Y'all say I can talk about whatever I want. <laughs> Y'all wanna get the same stories because I am, <laughs> I don't be doing nothing. But anyways, thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Thank you so much for rocking with me and enjoying these Get Ready With Me's. I love doing them. So I love you all so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in my next video.
Bye, my lips are still on fire.